there. I'm Brittany Washburn, and I'm going to tell you today about an activity that I love to do with third graders to help them learn typing skills. Uh, the idea was inspired by the Winter Olympics a few years ago, and I decided to call what we were doing the Typing Olympics so they could work really hard on it. So I have this website that is a work in progress like any class website called k5elementarytechnology.weebly.com to get to the typing olympics it was a third grade activity and we did it in our third quarter which is right about when the winter olympics were so typing olympics it was a four-week project that we did because i see my classes for 45 minutes once a week so here's how i have the page set up of course, we needed a motto because we're talking about doing something athletic. So it was all about training hard to succeed. Um, and the objective was to show that you know proper keyboarding posture and hand position. Eventually, this was about how fast they typed and how accurately too, but I was really just focused on that they were sitting correctly. So this video on the page is a flipped classroom screencast. I don't expect my students to do the um, video, watch the video ahead of time. They just do it in class. And I left it on there for all four weeks uh, in case someone was absent the first week, didn't get the directions, or if a week was too long between classes and they forgot what to do. But the directions show them how to do the weekly typing test, which was a requirement for me. So let me scroll below the video and I'll show you. I had them download a template for how I wanted them to record. If you're using Google Chrome like I am, you'll click on download and it will come down onto the bottom bar and your students will have to click to open it. Um, you'll always want to enable editing if it doesn't come up that way. So here is the template that I expect them to fill in each week. Obviously you only download it the one time from the website and then I expect the students to save it and access it from their file each time and that was in the student directions video that was there. So they type in their name. I gave an example of what it should look like. So week one is where we're starting. How many words per minute and the accuracy percentage is what they get from taking the weekly typing test. So that's what I want them to start with every week and I put the button for that right on my website. So you're, they're going to be um, starting the test over here. They have a couple of choices for which uh, topic they want to type about. Um, and then I want them to do it for one minute so that they get that practice uh, for their words per minute. So they do the test, they get their score, and they record it in their weekly typing test. Then the rest of the time is training time, like any good athlete would do um, and there are some options here for what they can use to train these are all free typing programs um, and then there's some a game style activity and I put down here because we talked about the placement of how we're supposed to look a file down here Thank you to Diana King for coming up with that. So this is what they do for the whole 45 minutes of class for four weeks in a row. And our goal is to see their um, words per minute and their accuracy improve from week to week. That's our goal anyway. So that is how I did the Typing Olympics with my third grade classes. Hopefully this can help you and inspire you to do something. I love doing typing like this in the winter time because I feel like that's when there's a lot of benchmark testing happening, um, schedule changes, and this is an easy one to fit in and not worry about students missing it because it really is just for practice. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the blog post comments or on social media. You can find me everywhere. Uh, BrittanyWashburn.com will get you to all of my information that you need. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that this helps.